Bass Global Ministries welcomes you to Flashback Friday. Pastors Jeff and Demetria Bass have been teaching and preaching the Word of God with clarity and simplicity for over 25 years. Now, let's flash back to one of their classic messages. Elijah's private ministry is articulated in chapter 17 of 1 Kings. If it was to be titled, it would be Go Hide Yourself. Luke chapter 4 verse 25 tells us that the drought that had happened in the land lasted for three years. You see, as I looked it up, a lack of rain was often a punishment for the sins of the people. You don't believe it? I don't have time. Write it down. Deuteronomy chapter 11 That's right. verses 13 and 17 explains it. If you want more explanation, 2 Chronicles chapter 7 verses 12 through 15. It expounds upon that. Ahab and his wife were the rulers of that time. His wife, Jezebel. Everybody said, Jezebel, but you got to know Ahab was with her too. That's it. And they had led the people into Baal, B-A-A-L, not a Baal of hay, but Baal, which was an idol. Mm -hmm. they, they were into idol worship. So they were actually called idolatrous because they were into idolatry. And idolatry is an abomination unto a holy God because God said, I'm a jealous God and I will have no other gods before me. They didn't care. It was a vile religion. That's right. Having delivered his message, the prophet re retreated from public ministry for three years. And during this time, the Lord graciously cared for him. This was a season whereby the Lord graciously cared for Elijah. The obedient servant can always depend on his master's faithfulness That's right. and his faithful care. That's right. Note the three disciplines Elijah experienced during his season. Mm. I called it the, what, the dry season, the depleted season, and the dead season. Let's talk about that dry season. You see, <laughs> we mess it up because God wants you to suffer. That's it. If you're going to reign with him, you got to suffer with him. That's it. He don't want us to suffer to endurance of the cross, right. but he really wants to know, are you serious about this call? Yeah. Maybe that's why he wouldn't let me preach the message on discipleship and calling. Because even in that message, I can tell you this much. In Luke 5, wasn't the first time that God had called him. <laughs> Y'all don't believe me. But God was testing their commitment. All right. Oh, oh. How bad do you want it? All right. Hey, we want the glory. That's right. We want the fame. That's right. But we don't want the shame. We don't want it. That's right. God told Elijah in 1 Kings, you might want to, if you got your Bible, verse 2. Well, I may have time since I, I wanna, don't want to be ministerially incorrect. <laughs> so I will read a scripture because you just won't think it's me. Amen. 1 Kings chapter 17, let's start at verse 2. Amen. And I'm going to read these seven verses. Amen. Well, two, 2 through 7. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself. What did I just tell y'all? Mm -hmm. By the brook Cherith, that is before Jordan. Now let me stop. Do my first parenthetical in interjection. Right there. See, when I first read it a long time ago, he, I thought God was protecting him. Hide. Hide. That, that is true. But the whole purpose was, was to hide yourself. Consecrate yourself, separate yourself, set yourself apart so I can impart into you, pour into you, purify you, prune you, get you ready for a work you don't even know you're going to do yet. My, my, my. All right. See, some of y'all in the cave. God said he's about to bring you out because God's looking for some committed folk. Some of these famous folks y'all see. Their commitment level is not where not, not about you, where God would want it to be. My, my. So man has propped them up, but God's about to bring them down. My, my, my. Oh. My, my, my. Help me, Jesus. My, my. And those of you who are in the cave like Abdullah, God's about to bring you out. My, my, my. If you can just maintain. 
Mama. Oh, God. Mama. Verse 4. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook. And I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So he went and did obedience according unto the word of the Lord. For he went and dwelt by the brook Cherith that is before Jordan. And the ravens, I'm going to talk about them ravens in a few minutes. I'm not talking about the Baltimore ravens. The ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning and bread and flesh in the evening. And he drank of the brook. And it came to pass out the while. And the brook dried up. Because there had been no rain in the land. God told Elijah exactly where to go and what to do. What does Proverbs 3 and 5 tell us? Trust in the Lord. Lean not into your own understanding. On all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall. <laughs> we need to have that pin up. Yes. Psalms 37 is a good one too. God withdrew Elijah's ministry from Israel as another punishment for their sins. Mm. The Lord permitted Elijah to drink of the brook, and he provided bread and meat daily. Not just sometime. Daily. Because if he didn't provide it daily, then he'd get into his own might. That's right. He didn't want him to store it up. He wanted, right. he, wanted, he wanted him to sing that song, Great is thy faithfully. Yes. That's right. His mercies are new every morning by morning. Every day, I don't you not now. I ain't even gonna give you the opportunity to get in the flesh. It's me that supply your needs. I'm your sustainer. Had to keep him humble, cause you know we get a little fame, we get a little, we get a little, we get a little glory. Yes, we do. You know, we get like the American Idol contestant yes. Kelly Clarkson. Don't even wanna, she don't even wanna recognize American Idol no more. Mm. She puffed up now. She got a couple of Grammys. And she, I don't need to go on there, but I'm telling you, even in the world. You only get 15 minutes of fame. That's right. Yeah. Don't burn the bridges. That's right. Hey. That's amen. Right. But we kind of like that. With God. Hey. That's right. Look what. We, we quit singing. Look what the Lord has done. We start singing. Look what I did. Yes. That's right. And it's not about you and I. That's it's right. all about him. Thanks for joining us on Flashback Friday. If you enjoyed this message and would like to hear more, join us this weekend online for an encouraging and life-changing message. We are Bass Global Ministries, and we're building an online community of believers who desire to get closer to Christ and grow deeper in God's Word. Visit our website at www.bassglobalministries.com. That's www.bassglobalministries.com for service times and more information. Bass Global Ministries, the place to gather, grow, and go. Be blessed.